fellow pilots from across the galaxy, welcome back to the Sith Taker YouTube channel for episode 5 of Sith Take 2.0, our X-Wing Miniatures Match Report series showing off Stockport's finest X-Wing pilots. Today we are joined by Sean and Ben. Let's meet those players now. Hi, my name's Sean Milligan. I've been playing X-Wing for about 15 to 16 months. My favourite list in 1.0 was Miranda Dash. Hi, my name's Ben Hibbert. Uh, I've been playing X-Wing for about a year and a half. My favourite list in 1.0 was my Ion Ghost. So the list I'm flying today is Wedge in the X-Wing with the S-Files, the R3 Astromech, Proton Torpedoes and Out Maneuver. I also have Kyle Katarn in the Hawk with Jane, Jane Ursa, the Moldy Crow, Seismic Charges and Elusive. With them I'm bringing Shara Bay in the Ark with Veteran Tail, Skunner, Magla, Yarrow and Trickshot. The list I'm bringing today is uh, Boba with Han, uh, Marauder Title, Duke and IG-88D. Uh, with him I've got uh, IG-88C with Duke and also the title. And finally I've got Lando in the Escape Craft with Tactical Officer. So my list is coming in at 200 points. Ben is currently at 197, so I suspect he's going to give me initiative. We have a couple of clashes at the five and fours, and obviously Boba has the boost, which I think links into an evade, so he'll want to get the positioning on that. Uh, I'm less points than Sean, so I'm going to give him initiative, because I want to move after his fours to see where my boosts are going to go. So for rock placements, uh, I'm going to create a small cluster in the middle to try and uh, support uh, Wedge as it goes through the flanks. But I want to try and keep one side fairly open because he, even though he has two medium bases, he has two boosts. So he has a lot more manoeuvrability around the rocks than my medium base. Uh, I'm going to place the rocks quite spread out so I've got room to boost and just move my axe around really. So I'm going to give Sean initiative. So I'm hardly surprised, but okay, thank you very much. So I place the first rock. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with the rock placement. I got my cluster in the middle that I was after and everything else was nicely spread out. Yeah, rocks are down. Um, I'm half happy. There's a little cluster that I didn't really want, but there's like a lot of big open space, which I'm pretty good about. My general strategy for this game is trying to utilise uh, Sara Bay's ability of spending a lock to gain a focus dice. Um, combined with the Moldy Crow and Calcutton passing focuses over, I want to try and get you know four, five dice primary shots into whatever it hits, and then Wedge is just going to do Wedge things, uh, hopefully to flank and take out some uh, support ships. My list's good because I can reposition before my two main ships move uh, and I can give them just loads of actions. The idea of my list is to throw Bobber right up into the mix, maybe keep the IG back a little bit and just wreck face. <laughs> so I think Ben's list today is going, it, it utilises lots of actions onto Boba. He obviously has the IG for the boost, uh, for the boost of Vade. He's got hand so he can focus towards the end. He's also got heavy calculates and coordinates coming in from the shuttle. So the Boba's going to be the big threat, but I need to be aware of the IG is still a pretty good hitter by itself. So I need to decide if I'm going for Boba first or going to take out the support ships first. And you want to know what I'm going to do against it, don't you? Yeah. So now I'll do that. <laughs> To counter that, I'm going to try and take the Hawk out as quick as I can and then see where everything else is. So I'm placing Calcutan <laughs> at initiative three. That's end of placement, now for turn one planning phase. Uh, he's kind of half done what I thought he would. I thought he'd put a little, uh, wedge out to one side on his own, but he's, he's put in a position to flank. 
I didn't expect him to put them both in the middle, but it's nice big space for me to fly around in. So with deployments, I was say I put down my threes and fours first, so went fairly central, okay with that. Um, I think there's a nice kill box towards the to my side of the table in the middle. I, I suspect he's going to speed in, thinking that I'm going to slow roll it to get Moldy Crow focused up. So I wasn't. So I'm not happy with where the IG is because it kind of denies the outflank for Wedge, as I'm not confident with Wedge go, 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 going against an I, I, IG. Yeah, put my ships opposite side so I can come in like a pincer movement. Um, try and keep the IG back a bit and throw Baba right up in it. I think my overall plan is I'm actually going to um, dash at him and just go straight for Baba and the shuttle really quickly and try and make him weave through that cluster of rocks towards the top end of his um, board. In my turn one I'm just going to try and bank both my ships in to start creating that pincer, see where he goes from there to see how I go next to I think Sean's going to slow roll with the Ark and Kyle and try and get Wedge either behind me or coming in on my flank. So to deal with that I'm not overly committing to my second move, I want to kind of see where everything is. I really do want to get that hawk. Activating first is Kyle Katarn. They are going to do a one bank. And they are going to do the focus action. So next to move is Shower Bay on initiative four. They are doing a three bank, which hopefully will not bump. And she's going to do a focus action. Next up is IG88C at initiative four. He's doing... Uh, free forward. And then he's going to boost. So the IG88C gets an evade because he boosted. Next up is Lando in the escape craft, uh, also initiative 4. He's doing a 2 bank. And he's going to coordinate Boba into a boost. Boba boosted, so he gets an evade. And finally for me, it's uh, Boba at initiative five. He's doing a three bank. Boba will calculate, so he gets two calculate tokens. So the last ship to go is Wedge, uh, with S-Files closed. He is doing a three bank. And for the action, he is going to do a boost. That is the end of the movement phase. We're now going to move on to the engagement phase. So I'm going to start with my with Wedge, and try and do a range three shot into Boba. So it's have. Wedge at range three. S foils are closed, so it's only two red dice. And that's a hit and a focus. And because of Wedge's ability, Boba has one less green dice. So here's Boba's go. Uh, one evade and a blank, so no damage. Move on to the end phase and clean up. So during the end phase, Kyle Katon with the Modi Crawl title will uh, keep the focus. Uh, I expected Wedge, um, his arc and Kyle. I didn't know which way we were going, but I knew they'd turn to one of them. I'm, I'm okay with it, I think. So turn one went actually as I expected. You know, both of these medium ships are going for the kill zone that I spotted early game. His shuttle moved a little bit uh, in a way I wasn't expecting, it's obviously going into the rocks so it can get some protection. Uh, it's clear he's identifying Boba as the, uh, the threat. I guess he's right. <laughs> I'm happy with my movements. Um, it's a shame I didn't focus boost with Wedge but I wasn't confident that I was in range. Uh, it would have been nice to get a point of damage off uh, Boba but on the grand scale of things I'm perfectly happy with how the turn went. I'm happy that I've got the pincer set up, um, it really depends where he goes this round. I kind of think he's going to go for Bobber, I hope he doesn't turn away. Uh, going into turn two, he's going to move the IG really quickly into the kill zone. He'll probably want forward Bobber uh, to try and get to make sure that the boost fits and to get his evade. Then the sh um, escape craft will just, will, will just hide in the rocks, make sure it's in range too so it can throughout the coordinates at either ship. I think he's going to try and block Bobber a bit. Maybe come in a bit faster because I'd expect him to go slow. I'm okay either way I think. 
So my plan is to the hawk, so Kyle is just going to one bank in, convert the focus into an evade and use elusive, uh, as I suspect it's going to take heavy fire from the IG. Um, Shara in the orc is actually going to try and throw some bump on Bubba, while Wedge will come in with a proton, uh, with a one forward, get a target lock and proton uh, Bubba. My plan going into uh, round two is I'm gonna try and I'm gonna reinforce my rear with a coordinate on Bobba and then try and fly past him. Just try and mitigate as many shots as I can and bring the IG in on the flank. So uh, turn two begins and I'm going to activate Carl Guitar and Carl is going to do a one bank. I'm then going to use the focus action, but because of Jane Ursa, I'm going to uh, convert that into an evade. So next to activate this Charlotte in the arc is going to do a three forward. I'm then going to try to target lock Bubba, which is in range, and because of the R3, I can try for a second, and that's going to go for the escape craft, which is. Just in, yeah. Mm. Just, just in. IJ eighty eight C is going to activate, and he is doing a two forward. For his action, I'm going to boost, and because he boosted, he gets an evade. Next is Lando in the escape craft, and he is doing a two forward. Lando is going to coordinate Boba and he's going to reinforce the rear which is a red action so he gains a stress. Uh, now Boba's going to activate and he's revealing a uh, 3 which is blue so he clears the stress that he just gained and Boba is going to do a boost action which gives him an evade. And last move is Wedge Doing a one bank. <coughs> and for an action, I'm going to target lock Boba. But because of R3, I can do a second target lock. So I'm going to try and reach the escape craft, which is out. So I will target lock the rock instead. So at the start of engagement, Calgatan has gone to elect not to pass any focus. So I'll move to uh, the first engagement, which is Wedge. The throw proton torpedo into Boba, uh, well, and that's well within range. Wedge's proton torpedo is four dice, and that is three blanks and a focus. So I'm going to toggle off all of them for a hit and a crit, and I'll convert that to a crit because of the proton's special ability. Uh, Boba only gets one defense dice because of Wedge's ability. But I am reinforced, so I'm definitely only taking one damage here, no matter what. Um, I'll use my Boba reroll, and reinforce turns one, and I take one damage. One shield on Boba. So when Boba activates, I'm going to Han, which is a stress, and I get a focus. Now I'm going to check for range. Uh, in case anybody didn't know, Boba got a reroll before because he's range one of Shara, and also range one of Kyle. I can only shoot um, Shara or Wedge, and I'm going to shoot Shara. Okay, so I've got four dice um, at range one. I have three rerolls because I've got two ships at range one of me, and also the Marauder title. I will reroll this blank result. So I got hit, hit, hit. That's four hits. Shara has one defense dice and blanks out. So Shara takes three shields and one hull and has five hull remaining. Now IGA 88C is activating and he's going to take a range three on Shara. Uh, IGA 88C has three dice against Shara's two. Hit crit. So I'll roll my two of eight dice which I get a focus and a blank so that's a hit and a crit on Shara. Shara is now down to a th uh, three hull and the crit is a hull breach. So Shara will activate but has no shot. So next to go is Kyle. Uh, we've already already identified it's a range one shot. Kyle has the Molly Crow title, so uh, 
primary gun three dice plus one for range one. Uh, that's uh, three hits and a focus, and I'll spend my focus to do four hits. Boba has two evade dice, but he also has two re rolls due to um, the range ones. So I'll use one Boba re roll. Um, I'll spend a focus and also reinforce, reduces one, so I take one damage. That's it, end of engagement, on to round three. Uh, Sean came in as I expected. Um, so my moves worked, uh, but with Bobba I could have coordinated a boost if I needed to move before. Yeah, it went really well. <laughs> so movement, the IG went as predicted, although a bit slower. The escape craft went as predicted, that's fine. Bobba though, that boost really caused us an issue to get out of arc. Again, higher pilot skill, and even if it was the same, he had the initiative bid the power of repositioning and with all those actions I, it has caused me pain. Uh, the flexibility of the coordinate meant that I could boost if I needed to um, move so to, to avoid a bump really. That's the thing with Bobber, I got a 101 actions and he's got a rear arc as well. So engagement wise obviously Proton Torpedo pretty much did you know only did a point which is really disappointing. The boost got me out of arc and then Kyle did a nice little bit of addition but he was so tokened up with ray rolls it's really hard to push through everything. Overall I think I caused two shields and showers pretty much on half so that's really not looking good as first engagement goes. That engagement went really well for me. Um, I did want to shoot the hawk but Shea was just too juicy a target to ignore. Shay's in a really bad place. His action he's got to flip that crit or he's probably going to die. So going into next turn I need to get some value out of the arc. Um, whether that be just going for the escape craft or still trying to push through things onto um, Boba. Uh, Wedge still has a torpedo so just going to do a one bank in and try and kill, uh, try and kill something. Kyle's in a bit of a tight spot actually, so I think I'm going to try and bank in and just keep on the pressure of the range ones. Um, his uh, his IG's in an awkward spot, I think that's just got a one hard out of the engagement and I don't think he can boost in to get any arcs from there. Boba, I, once the IG's out of the way, I'm probably going to be a one forward and just get another really good range one shot, but I think Kyle will take that one because he's not in range, or well, hopefully you'll switch targets and actually go for Carl giving um, Shara or maybe a turn or two more. This turn I think Sean's going to disengage with the arc, maybe take Kyle with him and turn him a wedge, try and get another proton top off probably. Going into this turn I need to probably disengage with my IG, he's not in the best spot. And then I'm going to one forward with Bobber, maybe boost away if I have to. So uh, my plan is to try and come back round and regroup and maybe kill the arc again. <laughs> Kyle Katarn's going to activate first on initiative three. And Kyle is doing a one bank. I'm going to see if it fits. Yeah. Drum roll instance. Oh my word. So I'm going to do a focus action. Shara is now activating on initiative four and is doing the two hard. And will also focus. <laughs> Sean should have really fixed this hull breach there. Um, my IG 88C is going to activate. It's doing a hard one. I'm going to boost away. And after that boost, he gets the evade. Lando in the escape craft is activating. He's doing a three bank. And he will focus. Now Bobber is going to activate. He's doing a one forward which is blue, so he clears his stress. For Bobber's action, he will calculate, which he gets two due to the IG88D title. And last move on initiative six is Wedge, who is doing the one bank. I'm going to target lock. So I'll remove the target lock from the rock, put that onto Bobber, over the range, and I can with R3 at Astromech, also get a second target off on the escape craft. So that's the end of the movement phase. Moving on to engagement, Kyle doesn't have any friendly ships within either of his arcs, so I can't transfer any focus over. 
So we'll now move over to Wedge, who's going to Proton Torpedo, Oberfest, and is well within range. So four dice Proton Torpedo, hoping to do better this time. And that's a hit and a crit. I'll suspend my target lock, do all those two. So that's three crits. If only he had no shields left. So I have one dice due to Wedge's ability. Uh, Bob a reroll. That's three shields. I feel slightly better now. Okay, Bob is activating, and with Han Solo Gunner, he can gain a focus and distress when he activates. And I'm going to shoot at the arc, range two, through a rock. So three dice with Bobber, he gets two re rolls. I will just spend a calculate. So it's range two, through, so one base and one for the rock. That's cocked, so I'll re-roll that. Not that it helps. So that's three damage, uh, which will which will kill her, but these are all crits due to hull breach. So a stun pilot, a direct hit, that would, yep. yeah, and then there's a the fourth one. Yeah, and that's an additional one. So that's her well dead. <laughs> so last to shoot is Kyle. We've already identified it's range one due to the Baba Ray rolls. Uh, hopefully I might cause some damage to try and regain some um, some pace on the damage rate. So it's Mordecai title for three dice primary at range one, that's four dice. And I'll spend my focus for hit hit crit. If you want to blank out about now, that'd be nice. I'm definitely taking that crit this time at least. I've got one real wheel with Bubba because it's range one of the hook. I don't need it. I'll spend my focus and take a crit, which is weapons failure. So that's end of the round. All going horribly wrong. That was, but hey ho. Um, as tidy up, muddy crow title. I get to keep my focus. So no surprises there. Um, I knew the torpedo would come from Wedge. I figured I could take it. Didn't really want that crit, but it's, it's not the worst crit in the world. And with the arc gone, it's one less gun, isn't it? So movement went pretty much as I expected, nice and straightforward. Um, I wanted to keep Shara in the game, trying to get some value out of her before she died. Um, engagements went, Proton did better than the last time, which was good. Um, Shara, unfortunately, I was, I was hoping she would have at least one hole left to get one shot off before she died, but on the plus side, I burned through two direct hits, a weapon failure, and a hull breach. So, I don't know, try to try to see some glimmer of hope. Um, Boba is still, is obviously got a crit with the weapons failure, which helps. I've committed now, I need to stick on him. So Sean's definitely not out of the game. Both his other ships are at full health still. Um, it's definitely still a threat. Obviously, Wedge is still a worry. Producing my green dice every turn, that's never good. So, the weapons failure on Boba is really going to help. He's already on one less dice from his rear rock, and he's committed to using his rear rock now. So, that's going to really increase the survivability of both Wedge and um, Kyle on the Hawk. Boba's only got five hull left. He's not in the worst place in the world. Everything else is full health. He can take it. So, I think my game plan going into this turn, I've committed to Boba. I think the IG is going to be out for at least one more round and isn't going to be doing much. The uh, the escape craft I think is also not really going to get a shot next round as well so I should only be getting one attack in and that again with the weapons failure um, should be quite good so hopefully I might get Boba on last legs. He's always stressed so he's got to do a blue so I think he's got three forwards and a couple of blue, uh, blue banks so I'm just going to uh, hopefully the one bank with Kylo fit and then two forward with Wedge again, just trying to keep those shots in. Um, yeah, so hopefully, if I'm lucky, Bubba will die next round. He's got five hole left. Yeah, push it, might do it. But if not, he'll be on low and should be able to run. So my plan going into the next turn is I'm going to turn two of my ships round. I'm going to move Bubba out, hopefully be range three, turn him round next turn. So, uh, initiative three, I'm going to act. Uh, Kyle's going to activate, he's going to do a one bank. See if my perfect flying works. Not so silly, Harold. Yeah. And I'll do another focus. Should have been a target. So, IG88C is activated and he's doing a free sloop. 
which gives him stress. Now the escape craft is activating. He's also doing a 3k. Which is also. Bobber is activating. He's doing a 3 straight, which clears his stress. And as Bob's action, I'm going to get rid of the crit. So activate his wedge. I'm going to open my S files how I like to. And then I'm going to do a two forward. I will then target lock Boba, which is in range. And that's the end of my act. I think that, that is the end of the activation round. So at the start of combat, uh, combat I Kyle has no one in arc, so I can't transfer any focus. Going to shooting, Wedge is going to shoot Boba, and we've already established it's within range 3 due to the target lock. Wedge, primary shot, range 3. I'll target lock. Uh, so just for one hit. And I roll 2, due to not getting the range bonus for Wedge's ability. Evade. Uh, Boba is activating, and I'm going to shoot Wedge at range 3. So I get three dice out of Bob's butt, uh, one re-roll with Marauder tile. Oh, Bob ends earlier. I've cleared it. Bob a re-roll. Just one. So range three, uh, three evade dice. And yeah, fine. Uh, now IG-88C is activating and he's shooting Kyle at range three. Three dice at Kyle at range three. Nothing. And Lando in the escape craft is going to shoot Kyle. It's also two dice from the escape craft. One hit, one focus. So uh, with, with range bonus, three of eight dice. And I'll have to. Sp I'm going to spend one more focus just to negate it. Ka Kyle's going to um, activate and is going to shoot Boba at range two. So uh, multi crow title, three dice primary into Boba for two hits. Bob gets two dice with no rerolls. Uh, one evade, so one damage. That's end of combat. Uh, Bob has got four left and Kyle keeps over his focus due to Moldy Crow. That went pretty well, really. I thought Bob would take more damage. Pretty happy. Could have done with doing some back, but... So for positioning, obviously next turn's going to be kill box heaven for Ben. Um, so I'm not particularly happy with that predicament. But I think there's something I can do to try and at least mitigate that. It's, I was ready for this, I'm ready to turn around now. I'm going to come back in, try and kill something. So, Bubba's going to do a K turn, probably three speed. Um, IG 88 is going to do the blue three bank aim. And the escape craft's probably going to do, I'm hoping, is going to do a, a, either a blue one forward or blue one bank. So he's hoping to get all three guns, probably on wedge. Bobber will turn around. I'm hoping with the uh, attack cut shuttle to coordinate Bobber before he turns around, just so I've got some modifications. So my plan is I'm actually going to slow roll wedge so I can at least stay out of arc of Bobber. And I'm going to essentially pick on the escape craft because I would like some. I would like to kill some. So at initiative three, Kyle Katana will activate and he's going to do one bank. And then I'm going to do the focus. That's not focus. That's a focus action. My escape shuttle is activating. He's doing a one bank, which is blue, and he will clear his stress. And for his action, he's going to coordinate Boba and give him two calculate tokens. The IJAC is now activating. He's doing a two bank, which is blue, so he'll clear his stress. So IJAC is going to boost. Which gives him the evade. Bob Fett's activating and he's going to reveal a three talent. Which gives him stress. He's already got his calculator tokens from the coordinate. So Wedge is going to activate and he's going to do one bank. And as an action, we'll focus. So start of combat again. Kyle has no, no one in either of his arcs to exchange a focus, so shooting range 2 with Wedge into the escape craft. So this is Wedge, range 2 into the escape craft, and I'll spend my target lock. I actually want to reroll that as well because I want the focus for later. Uh, ah, yeah. Mm, uh, 
20. Yeah, spend it because I want to kill something. So the escape craft will roll one dice due to Wedge's ability. Um, I'll take three damage, which takes him down to one hole. So Bobber is activating and he will shoot Kyle at range three. That's three hits. Oops, that was a hit. So range three. I will use Elusive to reroll this. And I'll spend my focus to avoid it all. IG88C is activating and he will shoot Wedge at range one. Okay, so it's four dice at Wedge. No modifiers. I've got Duke because I've got an evade. Come on, baby. Oh, one's out. I'm not supposed to swear. So I'll just roll the dice because I can roll it in the box. Fancy that. Ha, duke it. <laughs> <laughs> so Lando's activating. He's also going to shoot Wedge. Although I expected him to have some damage on him before. So two dice from Lando. Crit. Uh, and a evade. So it's Kyle to go and I'm range one onto the escape craft. So Moldy Crow, range one, four dice. And I um, I want to guarantee the kill, so I will spend the focus. So two dice. Two <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you always spend the focus. And the crit is, he's dead anyway, but the crit is damage sensor array. So that's the end of combat. Uh, nothing to tidy up because we've spent everything. Uh, so going on to next round. So that didn't go very well for me. Um, couldn't push any damage through. Not bothered too much about losing the little shuttle. He is only there to add more actions. I did think I'd do some damage now. <laughs> So really happy with that round, um, obviously negated all the damage and only the cost of the elusive charge. Um, damage race is called back up, he's a ship down, Bubba's already got four hull left. I've got an IG on my tail though, which is a problem, um, but actually, you know what, I think I've regained some ground now. So my plan this turn is I'm going to just sort of slow roll Bubba forward, see where the hawk is after that, if I bump. It's not the end of the world. And then I'm going to turn my IG in and try and cause Wedge to maybe bump and not have an action. So I need to get the Hawk in. I'm going to use the Hawk to block Bobber. Uh, then get Wedge in as well to, to go against Bobber and just hawk he whiffs again with the IG. He's going to turn his Hawk in. He's probably going to go slow. Um, Maybe he'll go fast with Wesh to try and stop me bumping him. If he goes fast, that means he's ranged one of Bobber, or he bumps him, which is also good. With When Shower went down, I was not too keen on how the game was going to go due to getting the damage through, especially with the protons failing. Um, but now, actually, I'm back in the game. Um, I've got one of his sh um, ships off that, that reduces his action economy. I think I've got a, a better chance. I still don't think I've got a good chance due to the IG-88 being on my tail. But I think I've got, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling more confident than I was a couple of rounds ago. I think it's still still everything to play for. Both the ships have got no damage, so... Bobber hits like a truck though when he does do his thing. Hopefully I can do something this time. So, at initiative three, um, is Kite activate. I'm going to do a one bank. So I'm going to do the focus action. So, IJ 88 c is going to activate. Um, I think he may bump, we'll see. It's a hard two. Cool, oh, like a glove. And as an action, I will double calculate. So, Bob is going to activate and he is doing a one forward, which is blue. So I remove a stress. As an action, I will calculate, which gives me two calculates. So wedge will activate and is doing a one bank. And as an action, I will target lock with R3 Astromech, gaining a target lock on both. Wedge will activate and I is going to shoot Bobber, which is range two. Wedge primary. Uh, for a hit, a hit and a crit, which is something I'm not upset about in the slightest. <laughs> Bobber rolls one dice due to Wedge's ability. One evade. So hit crit. And the crit is console. So Bobber is activating. 
he'll take focus and distress, and due to console fire, I'm gonna have to roll the dice to see if I take damage. Phew, I'm safe from the damage. So Bobber will shoot Kyle at range with four dice, uh, one reroll. Uh, Bobber reroll, and I will spend the calculate. So there's three. I get two of your dice. So I take two, two shields, that's leaving Kyle on three hull Okay, so IG-8C is activating now. There's a lot rolling on this, I really need to kill him. So I've got four dice at range one. No re-rolls, but I've got two calculates. He has not got elusive left, and I want him to die so bad. I'll spend that for three. <laughs> so, I need an elusive invade, and hope that the crit's not bad. And he's dead. <laughs> so uh, that was a big moment for me. Uh, it stopped Bobber dying. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> and that's the end phase now. All the tokens are cleared. We're ready to go. That round, I was really lucky to take the Hawk out. Um, Bobber would have died otherwise. It was super huge. Um, still not out of it though. Bobber's in a bad spot still. So that was huge. Um, I could have really done with that Hawk surviving if I hadn't. Well, I had to use my loot of the last round. Rolling two blanks, even if I'd just got one focus, there was a good chance I could have survived. Then, four like naked four dice would have taken Bubba off two ships. I think I would have had the game then. Um, as it is, Hawks down, Wedge has a lot of work to do, but Wedge is worth more points than the IG. So, I'm on timing and points, I still might pull this back. Uh, Wedge is still a good ship, he's on full health. You know, I'm still in the game. Uh, there's only a few turns left now. Um, if, if Bobber dies, he's ahead of me on points. Um, Bobber's only got two hull left and console fire. <laughs> so, uh, tactics for this turn is my, my key objective I've got to get Bobber off the table. You know, we're almost at time, isn't far off. I'll be ahead on points. Looking at the board state, the IG can't get a shot on Wedge, um, he can't one bank in left, he can't do the um, the sloop left because Bobber's in the way, so he's got to go right. Um, Bobber will probably go forward, I'm trying to remember his dial, I don't think he has a stop on. Uh, I'm going to do a 4k, I've already got my target lock, uh, I shoot first so I can get the PS killed. So hopefully this will all work perfectly. So this turn, Sean's obviously going to do some sort of either K-turn or a Talon roll. Um, I've done a, a, a sloop with my IG, I'm kind of hoping to block his, his 4K or his 3 Talon. Um, I'm hoping he's gone the other way when Bobber can just sort of skirt away and hopefully not take console fire. So it's the start of activation and this round is huge, it basically decides the winner this round. So uh, IG88C is going to activate, he is doing the three sloop, hopefully I don't bump. I thought you would have bumped with that, that's a problem. Uh, now Bob is activating, he's just doing a one blue. Uh, remove the stress. Uh, for my action, I'm going to boost, which gives me an evade. So, wedge to activate, he's doing a 4k. This is going to be really, really close. So, I'm actually I'll just take the ship off its base, pull that firmly down, and that is bump. So that has just really caused me a problem. Yeah. And I am stressed. Bobber is going to activate now. Um, I'm going to take a stress to gain a focus. I do still have console fire, so I'm going to roll for that now. Bobber's got two hull left. No damage. So Bob's going to shoot Wedge. It's range two, but uh, Bobber has three dice and he gets one reroll with the Marauder title. I also have Duke because I've got an evade. <laughs> oh my! I'm really upset. Reroll. I'll spend it for one. So I get uh, two basic with one for the rock. I'll Duke that and I'll take one point of damage. That's leaving Wedge on one shield and full hull. So that's the end phase. Uh, 
It didn't go as I thought. I didn't think that uh, sloop wood was going to fit. Um, only got a point damage on it, which is fine. But time is running short, so I'm in a real problem like this. So we will clear all the tokens and go to the next round. That went really well for me. Um, he went where I thought he would. I got the bump. Could have done more damage, but it didn't shoot me back. So I think I'm all right now. Uh, I think that's game. <laughs> um, essentially, I, I can't believe that uh, sloop fit. That really cost me. If no time's really really close, Bob has just got to run away, I don't think I can get uh, shots on the IG to get a half point, so I think that's pretty much it. So, so close, I think I came back right, but hey uh, This round, he's stressed, so we can't turn around, he's forced into doing a blue, or even a white, but he's got no action. Um, my Bob is not in trouble now, I'm probably just going to move away, clear that uh, crit, and just run away with Bob, basically. Uh, start of activation. The IG88C is going to activate and he is doing a three straight blue. Uh, that clears his stress and he's also going to boost, which gives him a evade token. Uh, Bob is activating, he is doing a one bank, which is blue, and for his action he's just going to flip his crit. So we're just going to activate and it's going to do a one bank. So last to move is Wed, so I'm going to close my S files and I'm going to do a one bank which clears my stress, then as an action I'm going to one bank again. And that's me. Okay, so there is no shots at the end of the round, and we'll go into the next round. There's not going to be another round, uh, I've conceded, there's already one turn left, uh, I can't catch him and get the, and get the damage through, so uh, I am conceding, unfortunately. Well done, good game. Good game. It was really close. Mm. That last round was Yeah, it was close. Yeah. If that fork had survived, <laughs> it would have been so good. If that catered, yeah, if everything. Yeah, that game was really up and down. There was no, no one was ahead, really, all the way through. Um, it kind of put me how I expected. Didn't get the damage through, I thought I would. I guess it was kind of average. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really good game. Uh, overall, the thoughts of the game was it was fun. It was it was close. Um, it was definitely up and down. Um, started bad for me. I think I pulled it back with some chips, and then there was just a couple of crunch moments towards the end. Uh, the key moments were his arc just dying really quickly, um, and also his hawk dying when it should did for shooting me back. So, kind of the down point of it was to start with my torpedoes really fluffed. I, for some reason, every target lock was wasn't re-rolling into much. I lost the arc quite quickly, um, engaging Boba in the rocks, and with so many of my ships close by, really made Boba um, survive. Uh, the ups, though, on the other hand, I'm glad I switched targets and went to the escape craft just to get that off the board. And I think once Bobba was at range 3 actually, I think Wedge versus Bobba at range 3, Wedge definitely has the upper hand from basic shots. My hope was actually provided quite a lot of damage, was constantly doing two or three hits with the primary with just a focus back up, which was good. Um, again, but the down parts, uh, blanking out on the Hawks of Aids, uh, if I had one, if, 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 if I had one paint, um, I would have won the game. And then obviously, although we we didn't bump each other at all, or we didn't hit any rocks until that last manoeuvre, which was the key manoeuvre, where my 4K just didn't fit. So, like I say, a game of ups and downs. Uh, it was really important for me when the Hawk went, um, Bobba would have died if the Hawk didn't die. That crit that I got on Bobba was really bad timing. I was lucky not to take damage twice. So, things I would do differently in the game, I think I need more experience with the arc. Um, I don't know how comfortable I am flying. Um, I think one of the crew, I think Magyara wasn't very good. I think I could have maybe put something else better in there. But yeah, just I think flying the arc, I was a bit clumsy with it. I could have done better. So yeah, maybe switching that out, I don't know. Um, I think just as the golden rule with all the game, just fly better with things. If Bobber had died, then the game was all shards. That's all I need. Yeah. Obviously, Ben also flew well. It's not all my fault that I lost the game. Um, there was a couple of instances. There was a really good. Uh, I spotted the first kill box, uh, okay, but the second kill box when it was just the Hawk and Wedge, the right hand side, um, with the, I didn't think the IG would be in range. 
uh, and then obviously Bobo turned round. So I think that that also was a really good kill box arrangement. So, so I really enjoyed that game. Um, really good fun. Looking forward to being back on the show in the future. Uh, hopefully, you're going to do a bit better. Wouldn't mind a rematch, but wouldn't be upset if I don't play them again. So there you have it. Another episode down and a great game from a, an observer's point of view. That really looked like it could go either way. A couple of points. Yeah. Definitely swung in your favour early on. <laughs> With, uh, with Shara going down. You can say Shara now, can't you? No. Yeah. <laughs> still the arc. The arc. The arc. Lots and lots of outtakes in there. Uh, but with Shara going down so easy, it looked like it was going to be an uphill battle. Yeah. And then it just seemed to tilt. Yeah. Not necessarily because of the, uh, the not the attack shot or the... Escape craft. Escape craft. We also made that mistake a few times. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily just because it went down. I mean, yeah, it was great for the action economy. Really gave you lots, fle lots yeah. of flexibility in there. Um, I was gonna say, I think it also boosted my confidence. That I actually killed something. <laughs> which was also a key part of that. Like, Abs objective, objective achieved. Absolutely. It, it just turned it a little bit because at that point. You hadn't taken any damage. Yeah, yeah. And Bobba was limping. Yeah. Uh, but just a couple of key crucial moments just meant it just finally went your way. And then, of course, with time, I don't think you're ever going to catch him um, at that point, not with a couple of turns remaining. Hope you guys out there really enjoyed the game. You guys going to be back on the show? Yes, yeah. hopefully not against him. But... And I'm pretty sure we'll be back with some more Sif Take 2.0 X Wing match reports from Stockport very soon. Do go and check out as well our resident Twitcher, yeah. Tim King, and his Twitch channel is Spudgun Snipe. Spudgun Spud Spud underscore Snipe. Yeah. So you can see all of the league events that we do down here at Element Games Northwest Gaming Centre and keep up to date with all of the players. Great game today. Yeah. But don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. Absolutely. Don't forget to comment like share and subscribe <laughs> I think there's also a bell button you can press now as well to get notifications <laughs> uh, and there should also be a link in the description below if you do want to support this channel going forward make it a little bit easier for us to get some better equipment and the like there's a link in which if you buy from Element Games anyway uh, you can support you can support us by using the affiliate link below these guys have had a great game absolutely brilliant thank you very much I hope you guys out there are enjoying X-Wing 2.0 as much as we are here in Stockholm see you soon everyone